hello lovelies welcome back to another video today i'll be sharing with you all how i made my easy put together complete stew come along as i show you the ingredients for this stew over here is my carrot i have three carrots and one medium onion My albanero pepper, I will say use pepper to your preference. In my sunflower oil, you can use olive oil or any oil of your choice. And my Ezeta friends, I will be making use of the Ezeta brand. You can use any brand of corned beef you know you prefer. In my chopped tomato, you can make use of the seed tomato for this. It's perfectly fine. A teaspoon of curry powder, my bouillon cube, a teaspoon of paprika. Friends, I'll be leaving the list of all the ingredients in the description box to make sure you check it out. And my minced herbs and salt. Friends, the next thing I did is I blend my tomato because my tomato is a chopped tomato. You can also use seed tomato for this. You can use your blender to blend your tomato. So after blending, I parboil my tomato so that the excess water will dry off. So. I want to cut my carrot into a small pieces so I'll be using my food processor for this I also had my habanero pepper with my carrots and this is my onion I will just be cutting it into the shape which I want it to be but I will not be blending my onion <laughs> The next is for me to open my corned beef. After opening, this is what it looks like. So over here is my carrot and um, with my albanero pepper, I'm using my food processor. This is how I want it to look like, not too smooth but roughly blended. So as you can see here, my tomato is ready. The excess liquid is no more. The same pan which I used in parboiling my tomato, I'll be using it to fry my stew. So I added my sunflower oil, my chopped onion. I'll allow this to simmer for two minutes before adding my parboiled tomato.
then I added my power to metal. I will just give this a stir. So the next thing I added is all my spices, my paprika, my curry, my mixed herbs and salt and my bouillon seasoning cube. So I'll just give this a stir to mix it properly. I added my carrot which I use my food processor to blend so after adding my carrot i'll allow this to simmer for five minutes before adding my corned beef so as you can see i already had my corned beef to it so after mixing my tomato stew with my corn beef or tomato sauce with my corn beef I will allow this to simmer for 10 minutes before my corn beef stew or sauce can be ready as you can see here it's almost ready just take a look at this friends so I added it to my spaghetti which I just made friends this sauce or stew is very easy to put together especially when you have kids so friends i hope you do enjoy today's video please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel you can preserve this inside your fridge and your freezer and bye friends see you in my next video stay blessed